Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here. Hotep, welcome, peace and blessings to you. And for all my returning subscribers, welcome back into another video where I'm gonna be talking to you about the black cat and its meaning when you see this cat inside of your life. What is this cat trying to tell you um, as a spirit animal, as an animal totem, as some type of guidance or messenger inside of your life, okay? What does it mean? What is the symbolism behind the black cat? I'm gonna be going deep into um, all the meanings of this cat and how you can interpret it and what it represents. Is it good luck? Is it bad luck? What is the deal with black cats, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what the black cat has to teach us. So black cats, black cats, black cats, such a powerful, powerful animal inside of our lives, okay? Cats are really important. And I wanna take some time to do shout out to um, 13 Elevation Station, I think is your name, um, for requesting the black cat video inside of one of the comments. I know it's been a long awaited video, so I'm here to give it to you guys, okay? Um, so yes, black cats are one of those things that bring upon confusion, especially when someone labels something as being bad luck. It's like you, anytime you see that animal or you see that thing, you're thinking you're going to have something bad luck happen to you, which is not necessarily the case. I wouldn't go ahead and say that black cats represent bad luck. I would just say that it's possible that when people have seen black cats, it's been times where they've probably been inside of the dumps, or it could be times where they're actually anxious, or it could be times where they're actually going through something extremely karmic in their life, okay? So when you think about cats overall, cats are one of those animals that have an extreme sense of awareness. Just like other animals like dogs and, and um, other species of animals, they have the ability to see spirits, ghosts, things inside of other realms, but when it comes to cats, it really goes into a whole nother level, okay? It goes to a level where cats, you'll see them just going like this and you're like, what is this cat looking at? Cats really actually, they're, there's not even a bridge for them to go in between the astral realm and the physical plane. It's like they're existing in both places at once, okay? And we're all actually existing in all different levels of consciousness in all those different planes at once, but the black cat actually has the ability to stay aware of its um, presence in the astral realm and this realm and possibly even realms outside of that, okay? So the cats are have these this beautiful, miraculous ability to really connect with other realms so they're very spiritual so they have a good sense of knowing and absolutely they're very psychic so black cats in particular when you think about the color black okay some people may associate this color with bad luck some people may associate the color black with something that's dark and evil but that's actually not the case in spirituality when it comes to um whatever it is you believe in you know but when it comes to actual synchronicities and patterns inside of life and the symbolism behind black and how black affects us um, psychologically and what the meaning is for black overall you come to realize that black is one of those colors that actually absorb light so black has the ability to absorb light it has the ability to actually um seek light it has the ability to seek light and seek um, that energy of light, not just the color light or the, the color white or the color light, but the actual frequency of light, something that's light, okay, light energy. That's why when you wear black clothes, you get warm really quick because it absorbs the sun quickly. It absorbs warmth quickly. 
So with that being said, that doesn't mean that black cats are actually negative or bad luck. It just means that black cats have that ability to either absorb light or they have a connection with light. They can see light. They can see energies on a different level. When you also think about the color black, it actually signifies endings and it signifies um, beautiful endings as well. Not just tragic endings or anything like that, but it could be karmic endings. It could be an end of a cycle. It could be an end of a rough time. It could be an end of a rough time, which also is significant to meaning that if it's an end of a rough time or end of endings of anything, then there's going to be a new beginning that follows up after that ending. So in that case, a black cat will actually be good luck. Most of the times that I've seen black cats, it's actually been great, 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 great luck. Rarely have I seen a black cat and it actually signified something that was bad luck, okay? So the first things we want to understand when looking deep into the meaning for a black cat is understanding what cats overall do and understanding the significance and um, the actual symbolism and meanings behind the color black and tying that in with the cat as a symbolism, okay? So I'll tell you a personal story. Um, one time, me and um, my fiance, John, we got very, 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 very lucky. One night we had an option to go to um, two different restaurants because there's only two different, there's only a little bit of vegan restaurants that are open by the time that we had gotten off of work together. When we had gotten off of work together, it was already like 12 p.m. And we had to choose between a sushi place or we had to choose between um, Denny's. And John wanted to go to Denny's. Trust me guys, just listen, this is related to everything, to the black cats. John wanted to go to Denny's and I wanted to go to the sushi place. And we went back and forth, went back and forth. I'm like, okay, we'll go to Denny's next time. So we went to the sushi place. And by the time we got off of work and went to the sushi place, it was already like 2 a.m. That's usually the time that we get to a restaurant if we're gonna eat after work, okay? So the next day we wake up, we hear that there was actually a shooting and an armed robbery and someone got shot inside of the Denny's, the same Denny's that we were going to go to that exact same time. And we would have been at the Denny's the same time that that person got shot and everyone was held up on gunpoint at the restaurant. So we were, you know, we were scared. We had a lot of anxiety. We had a lot of anxiousness when it came to eating out in different places. We wanted to go and get our guns license right away. We just saw how much, we just saw life, you know, we just understood things. And next thing you know, months later, we're like, well, let's go to a restaurant uh, again. And it was around that same time. And we said, let's go to Silver Diner. So we went over there and on the way there, we were anxious. We were like, should we do it? Um, but we can't just not live our lives because of that incident. So we said, let's do it. On the way there, I, we see a black cat just like out of nowhere as we're driving, this black cat actually crosses in front of the car. And we look at each other and we're thinking, oh my goodness, is it bad luck? We go on to turn into the restaurant and we're very anxious. And the GPS actually says, turn right onto Killings avenue or killingsworth avenue or something like that it was something with killings in it and we're like oh my goodness and next thing you know nothing happened so in all with that story i've learned through experience and all of the experiences that i've had with black cats that it's always actually meant good luck it's meant good luck that's why it's significant and always known that the cats have nine lives because they're very lucky. So anyone that tells you that when you see a black cat run in front of you, that means you're gonna have bad luck or around you, that means you're gonna have bad luck. No, it's actually the opposite. Black cats actually mean good luck, okay? So that was just a story to share with you guys really quick about the black cats and how that might actually help you understand how they're actually good luck. And that's just a few of the occasions where I've seen black cats show me that 
they signify good luck as opposed to bad luck, okay? Remember, they have nine lives. They're very lucky. Even when you look at um, Asian cultures um, and you see that in China, they actually have the cat that goes like this. And in English, it's translated as the good luck cat. And in um, China, it's actually going to be called the, give me a second, <laughs> the Maniki Niko cat. Okay, so that is basically going to be considered a good luck cat. It's translated as the good luck cat and um, Chinese people actually use it. It's the golden cat that goes like this and they put it around their house to basically give them good luck. So that's a good luck cat. Now, when you go into African um, history and some of the most ancient, ancient, ancient um, religions and, and, and deities and goddesses and gods, and we can go to the actual literal ancient kingdom of Kemet, okay? Kemet actually meaning um, the land of black. Kemet translates directly into the land of black because of how um, black and, 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 and how nur nurturing, nurturing and nur nutrient the actual soil was, how fertile the soil was, and it was black soil. Um, so this was one of the most ancient, ancient kingdoms and first kingdoms inside of all of human history was in Africa, in Egypt, in ancient Egypt with black people, darker skinned people actually. And um, when you even look into that, cats inside of ancient Egypt were looked at some, as some entities that were taken with them when they went to go hunting so that they can basically guard them. It was used as protection. It was used as um, actual, um, cats were used as protection. They were used as entities that actually helped to give them warnings when something bad was going to happen. And even if you observe cats inside of today's society, you'll see that cats actually do that. Cats are very protective. If a cat act starts to act strange you know that there's some type of spirit or entity inside of the house um i'll even give you an incident of when um just a long time ago random story um when I, I can share this with you now because i've accumulated i've gotten my cup full now so i can pour a little bit out for you guys to know some of my own more personal experiences but um I do have a guardian angel that follows me around, one of my family members. And one time when I first really got into spirituality, like my first spiritual awakening, right? Um, I was messing around with the singing bowl and I was outside in nature in the backyard and I was just messing around and I was lighting sage. And I didn't feel that there was a spirit next to me. I didn't even know that I had an entity that watched over me. But I looked, I just felt something and I looked over into um, the fence because there was a fence around the backyard and I saw this cat. It was walking and it just stopped and it just stared, but it wasn't staring at me. It was staring right next to me and I look next to me and I don't see anything, but the cat is just staring and it's just looking like this, like it sees something. And it didn't, it wasn't like it saw something bad because when cats see something that's bad of another realm, they'll actually go into protection mode. And when they do that, they'll actually stand up on two feet or their whole back will crouch up. It was just kind of looking like of curiosity and interest because whatever it is um, that watches over me and I do see her now years later, um, this entity, the cat is capable of seeing that on a different level than other animals can. So the cat is really, 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 really important when it comes to even spiritual attacks and knowing when you're about to get attacked by something like negative or just knowing when something really um, powerful, something really powerful from the, from the spirit realm, from the astral realm is inside of your physical plane or around you okay so ancient egyptians of course they used cats to go hunting of course they had cats inside of their homes of course you could say they worshiped cats 
I don't want to say they worshipped cats. I would say that they showed their appreciation to cats because they understood the powers and the magical um, senses and that cats have. So very, very important. Even when you look inside of ancient Egypt's goddesses and deities and basically their the earliest religion before anyone else took the religion and um, basically mumbled it up. When it comes to ancient Egypt religion and the things that they practice, they actually have a goddess that is um, turns into a cat. You might remember it from the, the Marvel um, superhero movie Catwoman with Halle Berry, but that's actually all based off of the actual deity that is um, the daughter of the god of sun, the um, of Amen Ra, okay, which is the sun god. Is basically the sun. It's basically a representation of the sun. So his daughter would be the actual cat goddess, okay? So people actually didn't worship the the cats. They actually just showed a lot of respect for cats. And it was even forbidden to go ahead and kill a cat or hurt a cat inside of ancient Egypt, okay? So cats are very magical. They're very beautiful. They're not one of those things where you see it and it's bad luck. It's actually one of those things where if you see a cat, it's telling you to actually pay attention to your surroundings. It could be telling you that you're in a stage where you're going through something extremely karmic, or I've seen the cat kind of come into someone's life to tell them you're, you have good luck or as an omen of good luck, that you are protected or that you have good luck, and you're protected, whatever it is that you feel anxiety for. You may see the black cat and you might feel like you feel anxiety. You might feel like that cat intuitively is telling you that something bad is going to happen, but make sure that you don't get your feelings mixed up with your intuition. Because if you're feeling anxiety, then that's not your intuition, that's nervous reaction from your mental, analytical, and critical thinking of what you think this situation is about, as opposed to what the experience really is about, okay? So just make sure that you're mindful the moments that you see the black cat. If the black cat passes you, or if that black cat is um, actually going ahead and just around you, just because you're nervous doesn't mean that it necessarily is a bad thing that's going to happen. It just means that you are, you have good luck. You could be going through something that's bad inside of your life and you see a black cat, it's actually a good omen to tell you that times will, good things will come or that this time of bad, of whatever you're experiencing that might seem harsh on you in life or heavy is going to end soon because black is a color of endings, okay? And I will also even go as far as representing personally I would go as far as um, representing the black cat with the numerology in numerology the number nine which has to deal with endings and also has to deal with um, with um, vast 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 expansion of awareness like vast expansion of awareness you can think of it as Jupiter you can think of it as um, as the ninth house in astrology okay just spirituality on another level okay um so black cats overall guys i really hope that i could help you understand it with all of my different stories and all the different symbolisms and breaking it down for you black cats overall are something that is so magical and so spiritual it really does not signify bad luck it signifies good luck when you see a black cat. And when you, you see cats overall, it signifies good luck. Now, if you see um, a white cat or a different color cat, those do have different meanings because of the color. But overall, I can tell you the general meanings for cats overall is going to be some type of messenger to bring on a powerful message to you to say that you are basically, there's a bridge between the two realms of the physical realm and the um, astral realm and someone either is connecting with you on that astral realm on this physical realm like you might have a visitor that's watching over you and protecting you 
or that you have the ability to actually um you your awareness you have that ability to tap into that other realm and that's another reason why when you see black cats it might actually seem like things feel different when you see the black cat black cats can come into your life when things are about to end it can come into your life when a karmic cycle is going to come to an end it can come into your life when a big shift in your matrix system is about to occur it can come into your life when frequencies change okay it can come into your life when awarenesses change when there is um when your state of awareness is capable of tapping into the astral realm and being aware of it even if it's on a subconscious level a black cat can show up just like how i think there was a nursing home i forget where it was i know it was on the news but it's a real cat that actually in this nursing home it went to people and comforted people before they passed away okay in the nursing home um the cat would go inside of the rooms of those who were about to pass away and it would just lay onto the person and the next day the person would pass away so 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 one may actually look at that and say well the cat was the reason why the person passed away the cat was the reason why the person died you know what i mean but really in all reality the cat was actually there to comfort that person because they're they were connecting with the astral realm whether it's because it's about to be death or whether it's just because you're about to go through a spiritual awakening or whether it's because you're connecting with something that's really really karmic inside of your life like an experience or a situation that's very karmic that caused you to be lucky okay and it has to deal with something from your past lives that's very karmic you're going to be connecting with that astral realm okay guys so black and all Black is like the start of everything, right? You think about a black hole, you think about before anything was created, it was really just darkness, right? When you close your eyes, you see darkness. Like there is light, light exists in darkness. It really does. But does darkness come from light or does light come from darkness? Okay, so really think about that so thank you guys so much for tuning in and to make you even think about that more you can even think about the womb and how it feels like when you're in the womb of your mom or in the womb of being created when something is being created light when something is being created it comes from darkness okay ancient egyptians also believe that as well okay when the sun comes up it comes from darkness okay when things even inside of the galaxy, when it came to existence, it came from darkness, okay? And then and then also water came into existence, the way ancient Egyptians looked at it. Um, but overall, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to pay attention to your intuition. I know this video was deep and in-depth. If you want more deep and in-depth conversations and more deep and in-depth videos about spiritual guidance, wellness, and healing, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you also hit the like button because I know you're liking this video right now. And comment below if you have any um, things to say or anything like that, okay? All of my contact information will be inside of the description as well. And thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I will see you inside of the next one. Bye-bye.